Now, if you've used Figma for prototyping before, you know just how easy it is to link up different frames and just make simple click interactions. What I'm gonna show you is a way to take your prototypes to the next level. This is so, so useful. It really helps make your prototypes realistic and that's really useful when it comes to doing things like usability testing or showing off designs to try and get buy-in for a new feature or a new idea. So let's get straight into it. This is what we're going to be making. It's a habit tracking app or a mock-up of one and it's inspired by a real habit tracking app called Habit Kit made by Sebastian Roll. I really love this app, not sponsored, just I use this every day. So the way this works is that you can click on a habit to mark it as done and kind of like the GitHub streaks, you can see it gets marked off for the next day. We also have filters so we can toggle between physical and mental habits. And lastly, we've got a complete all button, which means that we can mark the whole thing as complete. So to follow along with me, and I really recommend you do follow along because just watching this video isn't gonna teach you anything. I've left a link in the description to this community file. So if you open it up in Figma, this is where we get to. So there's lots of stuff here and I've pre-made some components. We're gonna start by finishing off this toggle component. So I'm gonna click over here Command Option K to make it into a component. And then over here, I'm gonna add a variant. We're gonna label this variant on and set the properties to true and false. If you haven't seen this before in Figma, this is a special keyword, which means that our variant state becomes a toggle. For the off state, we're gonna change that icon to be a crossed out icon. And I'm using Command Shift R there to paste and replace. And then we're just gonna get rid of the fill and then the last thing we're gonna do is grab that text label, hit Q to select both of them, and then connect that to a text property. Now our finished component, we can toggle on and off from the sidebar and add a little label. We can also very quickly turn on simplify all instances. So now when we've got an instance of this component, you can see lots of the stuff is hidden. Now in our main design, let's replace those toggles with instances of our component and we're just gonna label those physical and mental. Next up, let's open our local variables menu and create two new Boolean variables called show physical and show mental and turn those both on to be true. Here is where the magic happens. This is the bit which I think lots of people haven't seen. Even though variables came out in Figma over a year ago, lots of people don't know that they can be used for more than just design systems. They can be used for prototyping. And what we're going to do is we're going to link a component variant to a variable. Here's what that looks like. I'm just gonna grab one of the instances of those components we made, and over here next to where it says on, you'll see when you hover, this link to variable button appears. It doesn't show up if you're not hovering, but if you hover, you can see apply variable. So we're gonna link that to the show physical variable, and for mental, we're gonna link that to the show mental variable. What that means is if I zoom out now, if I change the variables from my local variables panel, you can see that that gets updated. So that is how we link a variant to a variable. That's the core of prototyping using variables. The next bit we're gonna do is we're gonna link some of these habit cards to the physical and mental variables. So we're gonna grab gym and swim. So I'm holding shift to select both of those. Down here, I'm gonna open up show more properties and where I've got the appearance section, so not where I've got fill, because there's another eye icon here, but where I've got this appearance section, I'm gonna hold down control on my keyboard, click on it, and link it to show physical. I'm gonna do the same for journal and meditate, show more properties, appearance panel, holding down control, link them to show mental. Now again, if we open up our local variables panel, toggling on show physical and show mental, makes those appear and disappear. The last thing to do is if we want to see this in prototype mode, which uh, if you press shift space, you get this new inline prototype viewer. If we want this to work in prototype mode, what we have to do is for our toggle component here, we just have to go to the prototype menu and link those two together. So now clicking on one variant switches it to the other one. So you can see action change to on and off. And now over here in our prototype, clicking on physical and clicking on mental will show and hide those habit cards. So that's the first part. That is a way to link variables to variants. I'm now gonna show you how to use the set variable prototype action. 
So to do this, we're going to have to add a few more variables. So I'm going to open up my local variables menu again and add a few Boolean variables. So you can see that this would very quickly get exhausting if you had hundreds of these, but for a simple prototype like this, I don't think it's too much work. Now, if we go to our complete all button and swap over to the prototype panel and where we have interactions, if we press plus, you can see our variant interactions. That's the hover state from the main component that has stayed there and we can add interactions on top of it. So we want an on-click interaction and the action should be set variable g complete true. And then I can add a few more of these. So I can add multiple actions to a click interaction. So we're going to add set variable j complete to true, set variable s complete to true, and set variable m complete to true. And then lastly, we have to link up the habit cards to those variables. So over here, if we click on a habit card, just as we did before, we're going to find that hidden, hidden hexagon that appears when we hover, apply variable g complete, apply variable j complete, S complete and M complete. And now you can see from my local variables panel, if I toggle things, they complete over here. And if I open this whole thing in prototype view and press complete all, they are all marked as done. So if you've just been watching this video and haven't been following along, I really, really urge you to go get that community file and have a go at doing yourself. It won't take you very long. It'll take you five minutes at the most. And then you'll understand how powerful your prototypes in Figma can be. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name's Parvin and I make these tutorials on how to become a better designer, how to use Figma and other design tools. If you find this kind of stuff interesting, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe below or if you commented on the video. Um, anything like that just really helps me as I'm trying to grow this channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.